In this video, I want to take a look at variance and standard deviation. So the first question to begin with here is, what is the variance? So the variance is a measure of dispersion or spread. So this is a measure of how far a set of numbers is spread out from their average value. And we have a formula to calculate the variance. So the variance is calculated as sigma of x minus x bar, all squared, and this is divided by n, the total sample size. Now we can simplify this calculation here, so I can do sigma x squared, so sigma x squared over n, minus sigma x over n, all squared. Okay, now it might help to remember this as the mean of the squares, so this is the mean of the squares, minus the square of the mean. Okay, so that might help remembering that calculation. So in terms of the formula book, you aren't actually given this formula here. Okay, what you are given is the formula for the standard deviation. So what is the standard deviation? So the standard deviation we represent with the Greek letter sigma. So we've mentioned sigma twice now, this is lowercase sigma, this is uppercase sigma. Okay, so lowercase sigma here represents the standard deviation of a data set. And this is calculated as the square root of the variance. Okay, so the square root of the variance. So you're given the formula for the standard deviation, so obviously you would need to square that if you needed the variance. Okay, so like we said, the standard deviation we use sigma, so if you want to represent the variance then, that would be sigma squared. Okay, that would be your variance. Okay. So that's the formula there when you're working with a data set, but we can also calculate the variance when we're working with group data in a frequency table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give that result for the variance, but I'm not going to run through an example in this video, but we will take a look at that in the exam revision for this chapter. Okay. So for group data, so for group data in a frequency table, and let's just write this result down. Then the variance sigma squared is given as sigma f of x minus x bar all squared. That will be divided by sigma f, so sigma f. And again, we can simplify this calculation here. So I can write this as sigma fx squared. So sigma fx squared over sigma f. And then we minus, so we'll do this all in one bracket here, sigma fx, sigma fx, all over sigma f, and then we square this. Okay, so similar to what we did up here, that's for group data in a frequency table. Okay, so let's just box that off over here. Okay, so like I said, this result is for group data in a frequency table, and we'll look at one example for that in the exam revision video for this chapter. Okay. So let's take a look then at one very quick question here on finding the variance and standard deviation. Taking a look at this question here, now we're asked to find the variance and standard deviation of the following six numbers. So I've got 5, 8, 6, 2, 10, and 24 here. So to begin with, let's just recall the formula for the variance. So for sigma squared here, representing the variance, this would be sigma x squared over n minus, so it would now be sigma x over n all squared. Okay. So what I need here is n. I need sigma x and sigma x squared. So n here is the sample size. That would just be 6. Sigma x is going to be the sum of the six numbers. So that's going to be 5 plus 8 plus 6 plus 2 plus 10 and then plus 24. Add those together and what you should get there is 55 and then we also need sigma x squared so sigma x squared here would be the sum of these numbers squared so 5 squared plus 8 squared and so on so 5 squared plus 8 squared plus 6 squared and so on so let's write all these down and my final one is 24 squared okay 
Again, just put this into your calculator here, and what you should get is 805. So I get 805 there. So I've got everything I need now to calculate the variance. So the variance here, sigma squared, that's going to be 805 over 6. 805 over 6 minus, so sigma x is 55 over n, which is 6. So minus 55 over 6 here. This is all squared. So again, just put this into your calculator here. And what I get now to three significant figures here is 50.1 there. Okay. So that's the three significant figures. Let's note that here. Now we're not finished here because we also need the standard deviation. So the standard deviation, that would just be sigma here, and that's the square root of the variance. Okay. So in that case, that would be the square root of 50.1. The square root of 50.1. Again, just taking this to a sensible degree of accuracy here, what I get is 7.08 there. Okay, so the standard deviation is 7.08 to three significant figures. And there we have it, so that's our solution to that question. And that brings us to the end of this video on variance and standard deviation. In the next video, we're going to take a look at coding.